little friend. Isn't it a perfect day? A day to treasure, a day to savor. Yeah, the swinger girl is swinging, King Bob is kinging, and all is well with the world. There you go again, You're doing it all wrong. Excuse me, all I'm saying is your digging would improve if you choked up on your shovel a little. And all I'm saying is it works just fine the way I got it. Well, you can do it that way. It'll be wrong, but you can do it. Wrong? How would you know, considering you never do any work around here? Yeah, right. I've been carrying you since kindergarten. You've been carrying me? That's right, pal. I've been carrying you. And you just got a little too heavy. Fine, I don't need you. In fact, I'll get a lot more work done without you yapping at me all day long. Without my yapping, you wouldn't know which end of the shovel was up. It's this one, pal. Goodbye. Guys, what just happened here? Unless I'm mistaken, the digger split up. Why did this happen? Why? Oh, come on, Mikey. You're taking this way too hard. Yeah, so the diggers had a little tiff yesterday. Big whoop. Don't you guys see? The diggers have been digging together ever since I can remember. If they can split up over some silly fight, what does that say about any friendship? Even ours. Relax. Those two guys can't stay mad at each other for one minute, much less one day. Sure. I'll bet they patched the whole thing up by now. Are you all right, man? Yeah, I I'm fine, I guess. Digger Sam? Can't stop. Behind the schedule. Must dig. Hey, Sam, what are you doing digging a hole right by the front door? A kicker get hurt. Namely me. And where's Digger Dave? <clears throat> Who? Your partner about eating helmet filthy? Got no partner. <clears throat> this gopher digs alone. You mean you and Dave haven't buried the hatchet? No bury. Only dig. <clears throat> Man, Digger Sam without Digger Dave? I never thought I'd see the day. Think about poor Dave. All alone, no friends. He must be a digger with a hole in his heart. Morning, boys and girls. Digger Dave? Is that you? Just call me Dave. I'm not doing that digging thing anymore. Doing the uh, regular kid thing now. But what about your hole? What about Sam? Sam, refresh me. Your partner. You two are a team. Like Laurel and Hardy. Gilbert and Sullivan. The Mad Masher and Killer Calhoun. Hey, professional wrestlers have relationships too. Well, not me. My digging days with what's-his-name are over. So what are you regular kids doing today? Well, we were going to play some kickball at recess. Excellent. I'll play first base. Uh, excuse me, Dave, but that's my position. Then you might want to watch how I play it. It's a good way to learn. Come on, kids, give me something good! One unkickable Uncle Charlie coming up. What are you doing, directing air traffic? But this is how I always pitch. Then you've been doing it wrong. I'm surprised you haven't pulled a hammy. Gee, I don't want to get hurt. Guess I could try it your way. I would. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks for the melon ball, Teach. Yeah, well, at least I didn't pull a hammy. I got it! I got it! Move right! Move right! Too far! Left! Left! No! Right! 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 <sighs> Tried to warn you. Maybe I should clear out the east wall like this. But then how do I take care of the west wall? Or maybe I should fortify the south side first, then tackle the subcircles, or... Or... Oh, I'm so confused! Poor Digger Sam. He's so flustered, he can't figure out what to dig next. Hey, guys, mind if I join you for lunch? You gonna tell us how to eat? <laughs> That's pretty good, Spinelli. But it would have been funnier if you said, you gonna tell us what to eat. See, what is funny, how is it? I'll show you funny. Be cool, Spinelli. He's going through some stuff. Pardon me, Dave, but that's normally my seat. I'm aware that my behavior is mildly obsessive-compulsive, but this is where I sit. Always have. Mm -hmm. Sheesh, between this seat and first base, a kid could get the idea you own everything. Hey, what you eating there, buddy? Peanut butter and pickles. Peanut butter and pickles? What kind of lunch is that? Hey! There, now that's a lunch. But I was gonna eat that burger. Take it up with Gus. Okay, let's go. It's tetherball time. Actually, Dave, we were thinking of playing Foursquare today. Foursquare? That was never the plan. We're playing tetherball. Come on, let's go. Time's a-wasting. But that was my dessert. Man, I thought this day would never end. Tell me about it. If Dave gave me one more piece of constructive criticism, I was going to construct him a knuckle sandwich. You're making me hungry. Dave wouldn't let me eat. It was a cube of gelatin dessert. Get over it. I can't. Man, I never knew Digger Dave was so bossy. Nor did I know Digger Sam was so ambitious. Look at that boy dig. 
Hey, Sam, what's up, man? Can't talk, got a date. Oh, uh, Sam, we were wondering, what are you planning on doing with all these holes? That information is digger access only. Sure, Sam, whatever you say. Man, that guy's a mess. Yeah, and look what he's doing to the playground. If he keeps digging at this rate, the playground will be filled with more craters in the dark side of the moon. Actually, it's a rather interesting phenomenon. Without Dave telling him what to do, Sam is completely unfocused and therefore digs everywhere. Yeah, and without Sam to boss around, Dave is bossing us around. Guys, I think our only hope is to get the diggers back together. But how are we going to do that? They won't even talk to each other. Well, maybe they won't talk to each other, but there's nothing stopping us from talking for them. No, no, no. You do it like that and all the blood will rush to your head. Oh, hey, guys, I was just giving Upside Down Girl a couple of pointers on hanging upside down. You're clenching again. I told you not to clench. Swell, listen, we thought it might be a good idea if you went over and, you know, apologize to Sam. Me? Apologize to him? Are you kidding? He's the one who should apologize to me. I mean, have you seen the way he digs? He's all over the map. Besides, that part of my life is over. Giving up digging was the best thing I ever did. Hey, you with that book, you call that reading? <sighs> do I have to show everybody how to do everything? Do something about him, Detweiler. If I have to come down from here, no one's gonna be happy. Hey, Digger Sam! Can we talk? Can't talk! Digging! Listen, man, we got a problem! It's Dave, isn't it? Well, actually, yes. It's just that he's telling you what to do. Right. And he's bossing you around. Yeah, and he's starting to drive you nuts. You get the picture. Now, we've been thinking. The reason he's acting like this is because he's miserable without you. Ha! The reason he's acting like this is because he was born. It's just the way he is. Sam, hold your shovel this way. Sam, your helmet's askew. Oh, come on. You're forgetting all about the good times. The good times? Sure. Remember the first time you guys met? Oh, yeah. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, it is your problem now. Enjoy the criticism. I know one thing that'll get those little gravel heads back together. Come on, Spinelli. Violence won't solve anything. Sure it will. I'll clobber Dave so hard, Sam will feel it. Wait a minute, Spinelli. I think you might have something there. I do? Yeah, it just might work. Gretchen, what do you know about plate tectonics? More than a master's, less than a PhD. That should be plenty. Guys, if this works out, Sam and Dave should be friends again before the last bell rings. Onesies, twosies, threesies. How many times do I have to tell you that's not threesies? And how many times do we have to tell you to, like, get lost? Excuse me, Dave, I need your expertise. Doesn't everybody? Now, what is it you want? I'm doing a science project on the soil content of the playground. Since you have first-hand experience in the trenches, so to speak, I was hoping you could help. I'd love to, Gretchen, but my days in the dirt are over. I've hung up my shovel for good. The dirt is so fascinating. There's the exhilaration of excavation. Yeah, starting a hole. The thrill of exploring uncharted territory. Crawling in mud. The feeling of being one with the earth. Dirt in your underwear. Come on, Dave, how about a whiff for old time's sake? Mmm, that aroma. So rich and full of earthy textures, despite its questionable clay content. Wait, no! I see what you're doing! Don't you know how to trick people? Pathetic! It's a nightmare! A nightmare, I say! There's been a cave-in! Cave-in? What cave-in? Digger Sam's tunnel! It collapsed! All we found were his helmet and shovel. Sam in trouble? I'm coming for you, Sammy boy! This ice cream is just the break I... Dave? What are you doing? I'm saving Sam! What does it look like I... Sam, it's you! You're all right! You weren't trapped in the cave-in! Why would I be trapped in a cave-in? Because you... I was... Uh, and it was... You mean, you thought I was trapped and you were trying to save me? But I thought you hated me! Hate you? No, I thought you hated me! I don't hate you, Dave. It's just that attitude of yours. Attitude? What attitude? You know, you're, well, bossy. Me bossy? I'm not bossy. Am I bossy? Yeah, vol, mein commandant. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe I could try not to boss you around so much. That'd be great, because the truth is, I missed you, Dave. I missed you too, pal. Now come on, you got some digging to do. I mean, if you wanna. Do I wanna? Is Bedrock hard? Just look at them, together again, caring for each other in peace and harmony. We've done a good thing here today. In fact, this may be our true calling. Perhaps it's time we spread the word, roaming the world from playground to playground, teaching children from all walks of life the true meaning of friendship. Well, we could. Or we can play some kickball. Works for me!